since this battery gigafactory outside of Reno had been announced, but it really hadn't even gone through a formal groundbreaking yet. You know, it was really just an idea, just a patch of dirt. And the company itself had hired a very large outside engineering firm to build the gigafactory. And they came back with a very safe but standard design for a factory and said, here's how we can go forward. And the Tesla leadership looked at it and hated it. They said, this is too conventional. This is too safe. This is just, you know, kind of cookie cutter. And they said, instead, we're going to license ourselves as our own general contractor. We're going to build our own EPC, an engineering procurement construction team in-house. And we're going to design this whole facility from the ground up. The building itself, the layout of equipment, the very large utility systems, the routing of instruments, absolutely everything. So there were, you know, 10 to 15 of us brought on in that first wave back in the spring of 2015. We sat in one trailer out in the Nevada desert and started designing absolutely every aspect of the factory. So I did that for about two years and it really was the full life cycle. So again, design from a blank page, rigorous modeling of how these components could work together, working with vendors to have these very large components manufactured and delivered and installed, and then going through the commissioning process and really making them work what, you know, just months earlier was a design on the whiteboard.